Hello, I'm Tom Williams from the Fort Huachuca Public Affairs Office, and this is your Fort Report. Command of the U.S. Army Electronic Proofing Ground, also known as EPG, changed at a ceremony on Brown Parade Field on Fort Huachuca. The outgoing commander of the Proving Ground, Colonel Ronald Jacobs, passed the unit colors to Major General Gennaro De La Roca, commanding general of the U.S. Army Test and Evaluation Command, who then passed the colors to Colonel Raymond Compton, the incoming commander. General De La Roca spoke about Colonel Jacobs' time in command. Here, Colonel Jacobs, watch. We saw the advent of the network integration evaluations out at Fort Bliss, White Sands. EPG stepped up to the plate. They teamed with the Operational Test Command, and they made things happen. EPG, Electronic Moving Ground, and IEWTD, Intelligent Electronic Warfare Test Directory, combined efforts made things happen, and they executed not only operational tests, but supported a new type of warfare, network warfare, he then welcomed Colonel Compton to his new assignment. Well, I'll tell you what, he brings an, an enormous amount of experience to Fort Huachuca. He's not a, uh, a stranger to Fort Huachuca, uh, and he'll, he'll embrace his place uh, like nobody's business um, and uh, take it to the next level where, where Ron has left off at. The outgoing commander made remarks. Well, about three years ago, uh, myself, Mark D'Amato, known as the Dynamic Duo, came on the scene, uh, we came up with a, uh, a vision, a vision to be the recognized and preferred test center across the Army, the DOD, as well as the industrial base for C5 ISR. And the C5 stands for Command Control Communications, Computers, and Cyber. And we expect it to be the preferred and recognized test center in, in about FY13, which we are now. And I must say, we did accomplish that mission. And the incoming commander addressed the gathering. Over the years, I've had the privilege to work with EPG and see what they can accomplish. And I know you, the EPG team, have the professionalism, respect, to be the continuing enabler in C5 ISR testing continue to be part of this great community of Fort Huachuca and Sarah Vista. B Troop, 4th U.S. Cavalry Memorial, wrapped up the ceremony with a pistol charge across the parade field. That'll do it for this edition of the Fort Report. Have a great day.